Hey, what's going on guys? Chris from Blu-ray Critic back with another iPad Air update. I'm going to do a tips and tricks video, kind of show you around uh, some of the hidden features on the iOS 7. This is the 32GB model of the uh, new thinner, lighter Air model. So, uh, what do you call it? Let's say you're on a site, right? Uh, let's say you're on uh, Tumblr or something like that, and you want to uh, get off the screen. Instead of pressing the home button all the time down here, you can just go like this, and it'll close it right out. But that doesn't mean that the that app is fully, uh, you know, closed. So let's say you're on another app or whatever, or you're let's say you're on a home screen. You want to close out that app or close out all the apps that are currently running in the background. What you want to do is use four fingers and move to the right hold on there you go let me start that over again so basically you just swipe towards the right but you have to use four fingers if you use three two it's not going to work so put four of them together and boom so you're, now you can close out the apps so these are all the open apps in the background so let's say you want to close out one of them you can just swipe it up and it'll close or if you want to close two at the same time put both fingers and swipe up same thing so so that's pretty cool feature right there. Also, another great uh, feature I came across is, uh, of course, Siri. It's built in. So if you want to talk to Siri, press and hold the home button, and Siri comes up. How's it going? I'm not sure I understand. That's because she's retarded. That's why. Anyway, so uh, that's Siri. So you press and press and hold the home button until Siri pops up. Let me ask her another question. What are you up to? Wherever you are, that's where I am. All right, she's trying to be a smart ass here. So anyway, uh, another cool feature is if you want to listen to music, you can uh, just swipe up on the bottom of the bezel, and you get the whole uh, page pop up right here. Not the whole page, but down here it kind of gives you choices. If you want to um, log off Wi-Fi or log off uh, airplane mode, and you get your player right here, you get your camera thing button there, you can. Um, you can use the uh, adjust the brightness right there, adjust the volume. So it's pretty cool. So if you want to search for something, hold on. You just uh, scroll down the screen like this. You got your search bar up there. You can type in whatever you want to search. So that's a cool feature. And um, as far as tips and tricks, I wanted to talk about something else. Uh, those are some of the tips and tricks I've came, come across so far. If I do come across other stuff, I'll be sure to do an update. But uh, let me show you guys uh, some of these other cool uh, games and stuff that I've come across. Here's a Garage Band uh, app I came across, which is fantastic. I'm sure a lot of people already know about this one. If you're into music, instruments, and all that stuff, you can do a lot of great music. So, hold on, let me put the volume up. There we go. So you could. This is a grand piano. So you can switch it out to electric. You can adjust it to your liking. You know, has all the features right here. So if you want to go to a different instrument, let's say you want to go to drums, got your whole drum set right here. This is really cool. So that's another cool one. And uh, I think you got a guitar on here as well. Here we go. So it's pretty cool as well. So uh, those are some of the cool features in the, the app that I came across. Uh, yeah, you got to get this one game also. It's called Asphalt 8. It's a really great uh, race car game. Let me show you guys a quick preview. You, it's a multiplayer game. I mean, you can play with other people. Um, you just choose your car, you, you know, you get a bunch of points, and then the, once you rank up a lot of points, you can get a nicer car. Here are some, some of the choices. But I'm just going to stick to my Dodge Dart right there. Let me see if I can start this up. Let's do multiplayer next. You could also do a nitro starter tuning kit once you rank up a bunch of points. I have a decent amount of points, but I don't want to spend the the cash on it right now. So let's do elimination. Let's see. Yeah. 
see once it starts up so basically these are the players down here they're deciding which uh, which place to play at or which city or country so right now I'm waiting for other players to join in and then the game will start but definitely get this game it's absolutely free can't go wrong I think it's probably the best racing game right now I've came across on the App Store. There's sure there are a couple other ones by EA Sports, but uh, it's not as good as this one. This is definitely one of the top ones for sure, no doubt about it. As you can see, I'm up to level 13. You start at level one and you work your way up from there. So here's my cash right there. That's how much dollars I got I could use towards the game to buy cars or whatnot. So the whole basic plot is obviously if you get first place you rank up a lot of cash so that's your whole thing just if you're gonna be racing just definitely try to be within the top three so you can see a decent amount of cash uh, rank up right there so anyhow this game is not loading right now because it was still waiting for other players to join in it might take a while but uh, definitely check out this game asphalt 8 and thanks for watching this uh, tips and tricks video and I'll see you guys soon and one of my next updates take care